let's see what's coming your way and oh my god we have the knight of wands this is your energy a little bit upside down but absolutely having a new beginning if you are wondering ace of wands with the knight of wands completely new beginning where ace of wands it is you know the desires um, of your heart right and we are chasing and going after what we want ace of wands queen of wands most certainly another fire sign that we are passionate about for some of you have somebody showing up it's the energy of a fire sign coming your way and boy do they look beautiful right we know queen of wands is the energy of the social bumblebee being beautiful being kind being nice and being all over the place and enjoying life a bit so hey why not <laughs> well in confinement is kind of difficult but still the spirit is and we have yourself with a queen of wands absolutely a fire sign coming your way making you happy making you feel passionate again having new beginnings or a new leap of faith that's what we need to see now and can be a renewal right seven of wands we might have blocked or this is the energy of fighting this is the energy of not giving up standing their ground for what they want and i'm pretty sure aries they want you but let's see so bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time we do have the ten of cups in reverse and the eight of cups we are working on our happiness and healing aries i love this we are working eight of pentacles dedication and effort to bringing the ten of cups back and also healing a betrayal might have been a third party situation here we do have the three of cups and the tower i know three of cups in reverse might have been a third party situation here might have been somebody interfering might have been somebody you know destroying our happiness and october is all about taking charge there so let's see past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual let's have the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you the person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck queen of wands again oh yeah you might be dealing with another fire sign she really wanted to come out eh she really wanted to come out feminine energy but of course can be masculine we know how it goes in tarot and boy and you know how it feels Aries it feels like somebody made a mess because they were too passionate and however that was um, uh, kind of manifested in this connection right um, it, was, it, it was a mess no matter what you know um, at least this is how it feels um, really the um, you know but let's see before we jump to conclusions um, so in the past what do we have struggles and soulmates right aren't they all a struggle <laughs> in some way twin flame uh, soulmate it's really the energy of um, not having it easy um and i kind of feel areas that you had to fight for this connection right six of cups of course it's a lot of longing and wanting a lot of emotional fulfillment a connection body mind and soul with this person quite a significant one but then we had moments where we doubted we had to fight for it uh we were in conflict with ourselves right and uh, when we had a tower moment over here and i'm pretty sure you are still in it it is the overall energy so we know we are right building up um bit by bit and when they betrayed us we had a moment of what in the world is going on five of wands i don't think i love them anymore you know <laughs> because it's like no this is not what i want so um, and they made you struggle honestly so this uh, love all that to say this love was not easy um, actually and uh, for some of you it required work and for some of you it required to give up uh, whatever um, makes you happy right and um, and accommodate somebody and then at the end of the day um, it became a struggle in some way now this person of yours, um, Aries, where they do ha show up here with the energy of the Knight of Wands in reverse, again, a fire sign and the star in reverse. They were lost and they were unhealed, right? Um, somebody here was in a process of healing, somebody here was in a process of getting what they want, a sense of clarity, a sense of alignment, a sense of spirituality, a sense of passion, a sense of direction and action, but again, 
right? We have them in reverse. So by the time we kind of realized what's going on, actually, right? They probably took off in some way. Um, and I, I, um, I'm not sensing it was because of you, even though we do have the Knight of Wands, that it can be your energy, but because we have such an important uh, major canine reverse, it's like, kind of like the universe pointing out and saying, oh no, this one is not on you, right? This one is all on them, actually. Mutual energies between you and your person, we do have the Nine of Cups and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody was not putting in the effort, right? Of course, we want to put the effort now. Happiness is important. We are willing to work uh, for it. But in the past, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. We know it's the energy of lack of collaboration, lack of effort, uh, you know, and maybe not a, uh, not seeing, actually. It's not that they didn't want to, but as, uh, as not aligned as they were and out of um, sync, out of vibration, um, it's kind of like the reason why they were not really seeing the happiness in it and, and the effort that needs to be put uh, for a connection to be happy. Um, so where are we right now? We do have the tower putting up the pieces back together and we do have the world in reverse unfinished business. We are right in the swirl of things, right? Trying to make sense, trying to keep the world all organized while going out of, um, out of uh, sync again, right? And this person made a mess. Oh yeah, this person absolutely made a mess in your life. And um, and now we are dealing with unfinished business, uh, probably communication that never really took place, closure that uh, was not really um, given, you know, the maturity of. And, um, and we are going day by day probably, right? With a big, a big love for this person because we do have the soulmate energy here. Um, Aries, this person of yours, they show up with the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords in reverse. So right now, um, if they seem unfair or the way they manage, um, you know, this closure, this ending, this disaster, this, um, um, I don't want to call it explosion, but that's a word I'm hearing, honestly. And if it seems unfair and unjust, it is because they are somehow in a mental prison. Eight of Wands is the energy of not moving. Is the energy of being blindfolded, is the energy of obstacles, of not seeing how and why, um, and, um, and being in their own mind. And again, the mind being the enemy at this point, and they are unfair to themselves, they are unfair to you at this point, uh, by the energies around them. Honestly, there is a strong energy of you taking the power back in this one because you do have the Queen of Wands and despite the whole um, shebang of the tower moment showing up twice, I'm pretty sure you are way more in control than they are at this point. And somebody here is entangled in their own doing. Now, mutual energies uh, between the two of you at this time, we do have the full and we have the two of wands choosing your beginnings. You do, they do choosing to take a leap of faith, choosing to start new at this point, right? It can be forced a little bit because, you know, we have the world and the full, right? The first um, energy of me, Jarakina, and the last one. Kind of like the universe saying this connection went full circle. And, um, and it needed a painful awakening. I'm just saying, I'm just, you know, putting that out there because, I mean, the tower twice with the world and the full... <laughs> It's kind of four times of saying, you know, we went full circle and we saw everything we kind of resisted. And the universe said, you know what, you have to choose new, new beginnings for now. Okay. And this is probably where you are at this point. Moving forward, now you have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles, focusing on money and stability. Uh, well, of course, for some of you dealing with an air sign, because that is a strong energy of an air sign here, they want to be stable with you. They want to have a family. They want to have um, abundance. You know, that's a ten of pentacles, a sense of commitment, a sense of legacy, a sense of kids. And they might be at a distance. For some of you dealing with a fire sign, again, very strong energy in this reading of a fire sign. A little bit upside down, a little bit confined, a little bit unfair, uh, a little bit blindfolded and, and confused. 
Well, coming their way, their intention is good, but in terms of action, swords in reverse, in terms of actions and communications and ideas, they might be um, dragging their feet a little bit. And speaking of love again, right? Energy is coming their way and the energies they put uh, forward is the King of Cups and the Knight of Swords in reverse. Again, a lot of love, but not a lot of action. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. But I'm more, it feels like a love that matured. Um, and yet, um, it's not fully expressed, it's not fully shaped, right? We know the Knight of Swords is, boom, just action and rushing towards uh, the goal that they have. But for now, um, for now, first week of October, it's not a lot of action. And again, another confirmation, Mitchell Energies, we do have the Chariot and the Page of Wands. Passion and love, but not a lot of action. Again, that confirmation, the Chariot in reverse is we are for now um, stuck, parked somewhere. And contemplating the idea of communication, contemplating uh, the desires that we have, a sense of stability that, that starts to... Um, take shape, right? And not a lot of action here. What's going on? Okay. We do love the Queen of Swords twice and the Queen of Wands. Might be a same-sex relationship here. Um, but I'm more sensing like a, a, a dance of energies between it sounds unfair because i don't do anything about for now you know this is how it feels the whole reading um and it's actually is not about because there is no action but because uh, somebody here it's just stuck in in their own life um you know and probably the boom was a hell of a boom um, Aries, I mean, it looks like, and it's on your side, like a whole lot of boom, right? And a whole lot of betrayal, and now we are putting, you know, the, the, the steps, uh, you know. We are putting the, the feet one after the other, you know, slowly, baby steps. And um, um, they know they messed up. Oh, they know they messed up. Now let's ask for some guidance, Aries. Let's see what we are guided to do now. Always the question is, should we take them back or not, right? Do we want them? Is it something that we need to? Well, you definitely complete each other. We do have the yin and yang, masculine and feminine energy. We do have embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted, Aries, when it comes to this person. We do have manifestation, so it's all about new beginnings, right? It's all about law of attraction. So if you do have feelings for somebody, it's about time you start to manifest a new love. And we do have sexuality. So somebody here that is something about manifestation and that is something about sexuality that needs to be revealed, taken care of when it comes to this connection. Embrace your emotions, embrace your sexuality, your manifestation, and just know that you complete each other. So, let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. Oh yeah, a lot of love, but not a lot of action, and the guidance is action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. You have embrace and express your emotions. That's um, the most important guidance so far. We do have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So some of you, you kind of need to remind yourself that you are the emperor. You are in control always. You always have a plan. You know your data. You are organized and you know how to put things back. So you are guided towards this. We do have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So we need to take things um, right, easy. We do have sexuality and acceptance. Maybe somebody here needs to accept their own sexuality. Maybe this is about um, coming out kind of energy. So acceptance, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change, sexuality and 
things we cannot change and bottom of the deck we do have <clears throat> sorry surrender to divine timing so sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow um, so it's interesting because the guidance is kind of all over the place areas and I'm pretty sure it kind of addresses two kinds of issues. Uh, one is the connection where we need to start manifesting and expressing our emotions and working towards a sense of completion. And the other, the other point is all about taking action while applying the divine timing. While allowing the divine timing right while being sensitive to divine timing in this connection and i'm pretty sure it's kind of it feels like the universe saying it's a you know we had two tower moments or we had one that felt like two it was a rude awakening so how about we stay a bit right how about we we wait for more guidance um aries wow <laughs> Should we take, uh, okay, you know what, let's, uh, let's ask for uh, some general guidance. The guidance for this one was really all over the place. I hope you, um, you got your message in this. We do have heart, ch <laughs> heart chakra. Yeah, the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now, Aries. Be open to giving and receiving love. And that such an area is energy organized for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you, and it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and your workspace and your finances will help you know and plan next action steps. And we have manifestation and law of attraction. I know somebody here really needs to start manifesting um, and attracting and going into and finding the vibration of the universe, right? So law of attraction, relationships and activities that once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. Um, so hey, Aries. This is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.